Unusual footage taken from NASA's live feed of the International Space Station appears to show six large orbs creeping past. In the live video, relayed by the American Space Agency, the UFOs moved from the right of the screen towards the left. It was originally spotted by a UFO spotter Street Cap 1 who shared the clip with Secure Team 10, a group of UFO experts, who investigate the footage and share their findings online. Tyler from Secure Team said, he has discovered what some are calling a fleet of unidentified flying objects, moving in the distance behind the International Space Station. We have about six UFOs passing behind, and judging from the distance, I would guess that the size of these objects, whatever they are, would be fairly large. Much larger than NASA's typical excuse of ice particles, we must be looking at icebergs. Tyler explained that suspiciously NASA cut the live feed, and replaced it with feed from camera showing the inside of a briefing room. An article posted on Atlas Obscura, explains some of James Oberg's reasons behind sightings like this one. Oberg, who was employed at NASA in the late 1990s, calls this type of occurrence a result of space dandruff. In 1996, the NASA Streets 75 shuttle blasted off on a 15-day mission, with a mission to transport a tether with a satellite at the end that could conduct electricity. Unfortunately, the tether broke, leading to the loss of the satellite. However, the strangest sequence was a cloud of ice crystals floating ahead of and around the tether, almost like dandruff, that many believe were UFOs. Although experts have their explanations of what these objects could be, there are still many alien hunters who beg to differ. Another sighting near the ISS occurred in January, when John Craddock, from Wolverhampton, told the son he teaching a friend how to use the NASA live feed when he spotted an object float by the station. I've been watching it for years, but never seen any UFOs on it before, he said. At first it was really small and then it grew bigger, lasting for about 25 seconds. Mr. Craddock said there's nothing human, which can fly that high, which he took as evidence it was a UFO. While it is not always possible to determine exactly what these objects are during the brief period they appear in the stream, there are a number possible explanations for these types of sightings. It is astonishing how many UFOs are seen buzzing around the ISS, but like this video there is usually a simple explanation for them. Nigel Watson, UFO expert and author of the UFO Investigations Manual, told Mail Online. This could well be a lens reflection that appears, and then goes as the light changes, giving the impression of an extraterrestrial space coming into view and then cruising out of sight. Many UFOs caught by the ISS's cameras can be also be explained as images of space junk, or satellites in the distance, and even very small flecks of paint or particles can appear like UFOs, when caught by the bright light from the sun, 